morning, Bodum and her mother were tending their fields. Suddenly, they saw a young elephant running towards them. The elephant ran straight into their house and began to eat. Bottom grabbed its tail and yanked hard. Get out of there. Go back to your home, she shouted. But Bottom's parents ran in and told her to stop. The poor elephant, her mother cried. He must be starving and lost, her father agreed. We should be friends with this elephant. We will call him Sikor. Bodum was envious of how much attention and good food her parents gave to Sikor. Sikor followed Bodum everywhere. He was a real pest. Bottom wondered if he would ever go home to the forest. Bottom thought if she was mean to the Sikor, he might leave. So she put pepper in his trunk, making him sneeze, and teased him with ants to make him scared. One morning, Bodum wanted Guava to take to school, but she could not reach them. The young elephant reached up with his trunk and picked one for her. Bodum was very surprised. Thank you, she said, but I am going to be late for school now. Her mother shouted from a distance, Why don't you ride Sikor to school? With Sikor's help, Bodum arrived at school on time. After that, Sikor came to school every day. Bodum and her friends loved to play games with him, tug of war, jumping rope, sliding, hopscotch. Sikor even joined the class. One day, Bodum's teacher asked, What do you want to do when you grow up? Bodum answered, I want to be a forest worker so that I can help elephants like Sikor and protect our land. Suddenly, there was a big noise from outside. Woom woom. Everyone ran outside to see what was happening. Sikor's mother had found him. It was time for Sikor to return to the forest. Bodum was sad to say goodbye, but she knew her friend would be happy to return to his home and his family. Sikor was sad to leave too. Now that Bodum, but his mother reminded him he could come back to visit now that Bodum understood how to be a friend to elephants.